What if I told you that there was a battle royale in VR? Well, I wouldn't be lying to you anymore, and that's right, guys. Battle Royale, I'm talking like Player Unknown Battlegrounds, H1Z1, Fortnite, all of those games that are going crazy in the Twitch world, crazy in the gaming world, has now officially hit VR. And guys, it is mm. Ooh, it tastes good. It's a good game, and I am very excited to bring it to you. And here, coming up, is going to be what I like, what I think, and what all around is going on with this game, which is bullets and more with Battle Royale. So, for those of you who have never played Bullets and More for VR, I recommend picking it up right now because this game is going to only get better at this point. Not just for the Battle Royale aspect, but for an all-around, this game is mwah. Now, don't get me wrong, w this game doesn't look the best. Not at all. But what they have in looks, you're kind of like, eh, they make up for in content. This game has some of the greatest content in it for a VR game to date. The ability for you to be able to go in and walk up to your gun and be like, hey, well, I want to add a red dot, and then be like, nope, I don't. I want to add an eight times. I want to add a silencer. I want to add this, this, this. You can really customize your gun into something unique. The player creation is solid, and all the different game modes are... You're just blown away. There are very few, and I believe this is the only VR game that goes into this big of an extent in virtual reality right now for a game. Hands down. Now, for right now, the Battle Royale room, there are 12 players per room, but that will change up to 20. And when it does change up to 20, they are also going to be adding duos to it so that you can team up with a partner and go in and just kick some major butt and have a good time doing it. Now, out of the 30 different guns that they have in this game, 15 are randomly spawned throughout the map so that you are able to have a different gaming experience every time. With that though, guns, scopes, ammo are very diverse and spread out randomly so it makes it more of a luck of the draw game of, the as of an aspect to it which makes it very fun. Now. When you are starting to parachute in, there is a little bit sometimes of a motion sickness that you can feel with it. Not very much, and you get used to it over time. The more that you play virtual reality, the less motion sickness you get. That's just kind of what I've experienced. Some people have no motion sickness, some people have a ton. It really just depends. Uh, but this game runs very smoothly, and they keep changing the map to where it has more levels, it has more buildings, it has more everything so that you can you know, you're not just running around on a flat field and just having a good time getting shot at out in the open. Now, one of the greatest things that I love about this game is the spectator mode. This is awesome. This is something that really makes it stand out more from the more so battle royale type games is the ability to spectate. That's one of the greatest things to do in a battle royale game. Oops, yeah, I died. Dang it, that really sucks. But now I have the ability to go in and watch the rest of the game. While you're doing that too, you're able to go in and communicate with everyone else who is also dead around you, talk about it. You're able to see where the players are and watch your specific player that you want to see and you can quickly whoosh, just go over and dash over to where another person is and watch them and you know see how close they are to everyone what they're picking up what they're all going through and getting a really good experience seeing how this game is going to end up and what's going to happen it's awesome oh landon and sickness going at it hey sickness chill out man there's that guy over there <laughs> Oh, no, this is happening Oh! Yeah, but Landon. Oh. Landon oh. I got him back. Please. Landon told him to. <laughs> I basically did tell him to. Landon's like, don't shoot me, shoot that one over That's there. <laughs> Yes, you can talk to everyone else who is spectating around you and whatnot, and you can communicate with them, but you can also hear 
uh, the players that are still in the game talking, but they cannot hear you, which is good because when we were playing on Discord, all of our friends in the room were talking to each other and we were on accident giving away sometimes where people were. We're like, oh man, what are you doing up on that rock? And we're like, oh wait, uh, they're not up on that rock. You know, just little things like that. So, you know, having that built into the game is a really cool aspect of it that gives it a very nice feel to it. Now, you get to feel like you are playing a battle royale game in VR, which is something that us as VR players have really been trying to look into and praying and praying and praying that someone will finally do this game. And finally someone did. Whoa, that's insane. But they did it and they did it well. This guy, the creator of Bullets and More, has been working hard on making this game, this game mode, awesome and you know what he hit it spot on mm, yeah he did and we had a blast this is in beta and me and 12 other friends and our onward competitive league all got on last night and played and it was flawless we were having a good time there were a couple of glitches here and there you know that's expected and that's perfectly fine but this game was just flowing super well and we were finding these guns and we were playing this game we were playing a battle royale game whoa it was awesome you can't go wrong with it and we we were having such a fun and interactive time and when we're ducking down like our characters actually ducking down we're walking around prone we're laying on the ground and like our friends walking on the room and see us laying there on the ground and they're like dude you look like an idiot and you're like but you don't understand I'm playing a battle royale game in VR, so get over yourself. It's awesome. And the cool part is, is it still has the crates integrated into the game where you'll look up and you'll see an airplane just flying over and you'll be like, that crate, I need it because I'm sucking with guns right now. I need to get to that crate. You run over, you get that crate, you stab it to open it up, you find your guns, you grab it as quick as you can, you put pills on your inventory pack and everything, and you book it out of there and try to kill everyone else while you're looking good doing it now it's awesome it's awesome now of course you know to every game there are a couple of cons that's just expected but that's fine uh the graphics you know like i said eh, par par they're good they're good but they're not great uh, but the buildings are very well laid out, and they he, they did something really cool with the graphics to be able to load such a big map. What they have done is they have taken a lot of the buildings, and they've, you know, ha made it to where they just rotate them. They put them throughout the map so that when you are downloading the map to play, it is very simplified so that the computer can just be like, do 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 because it's all using the same model, and it doesn't matter that the model is here and here, it's just like, that's the model, you know, and loads it a lot quicker for you guys. And they did that on purpose so that they could create such a big map so that your computer does not break while you're, while you're playing it. It's great. Now, for now, another con, rooms are sometimes hard to fill. That's expected, you know, I mean, this game isn't that big, but I think adding this game mode is going to change that. So wait, wait a second and go and pick up this game right now because you're going to help fill up those rooms a lot more and a lot quickly more quickly um and i think this game is going to soon just just jump up and it's going to become one of the most owned vr games just because of the battle vr uh royal vr mode battle royale vr mode yeah you know what i mean anyway now the tough part is uh and this is probably the biggest con for me but it's still not a big con none of these cons are huge they're, they're fine. Um, weapons and ammo are difficult to find. And when you find a gun, which kind of makes it fun, that's basically the only magazine you are going to have for your gun because ammo is just so difficult to find. But that adds a bit more of a survival aspect to it, and you got to be more careful because... You're, you're trying to run around, you're trying to get by, but you can't, you can't. There's no, there's no way you're like, crap, I have 30 bullets to try to find someone and kill them, get their stuff and hope that they didn't use all their bullets on me or someone else and have good enough stuff for me to keep on surviving and keeping on going. Oh, it's fun. All in all, guys, Bullets and More have made something great. They have made it to where we can finally play our Battle Royale in VR and it is, mm, 
like I said, you know, I cannot stop talking about this game. I recommend that you pick it up right now. It is a very cheap game, and it has some amazing, amazing gameplay in it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm right. Let me know anything that you would like. Um, anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. We're probably going to add a couple of clips to the end of some of the highlights I had from playing yesterday. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I can do to do better, guys. And with that, this is Silent Night signing out. Good one, guys. Thank you.